What's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. This your boy Town Biz. All right, man. Check this out. All right. So with Josh McDaniels coming in to take over for the Raiders as the head coach, replacing John Gruden, uh, one may wonder what does that mean for Derek Carr. Uh, history has shown that Josh McDaniels doesn't like quarterbacks like Derek Carr. You know, and we know Derek Carr has had a history of being up and down. That's just his MO. He threw for 4,000 yards, but the problem is same old results. Doesn't really result to nothing and the Raiders advancing in the playoffs or, you know, just being an elite team. So you have to wonder, what will he do? We all know that Josh McDaniels tried to secretly shop Jay Cutler around and basically tried to trade him, un, you know, like right under his nose, you know, and, you know, he felt like betrayed. He basically came in there right away, found out he tried to trade him. And the way he went about doing it, he thought it was, a, you know, he thought it was a bitch move, you know. Basically, Jay Cutler didn't ask to be traded and basically tried to trade him. I don't know if you remember when Josh, Josh McDaniel came out holding a Jay Cutler jersey saying that, which I thought that was so condescending. I thought it was, I, I, I thought it was really condescending. And I thought, you know, Josh McDaniel was trash for that. I thought he was just straight up trash. Real, you know what I'm saying? Real bitch made, you know, what he did. But I can say this about Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler had a hell of a horn. You know, that's one thing he did have. He had a hell of a horn. That man had, that man had a horn. Problem was, sometimes when he threw the ball, it didn't exactly go where he meant to throw it at. But, you know, Jay Cutler was a was a hell of a quarterback, man. I don't think he's I don't think he qualifies as a Hall of Famer because it's like this: if Donovan McNabb isn't in the Hall of Fame, which, by the way, it's really time to start like making that push and, and making that argument for Donovan McNabb to get into the Hall of Fame. Because if you look at Donovan McNabb's numbers, his numbers are actually pretty good. His touchdown interception ratio is pretty damn good. Now, I know he never won a Super Bowl or or whatever the case may be, but, yeah, I'm going to do more videos about that, too, because I do think Donovan McNabb, yeah, he wasn't the first ballot Hall of Famer, but I think he did enough to where he could get in on his, you know, get in now. I think he's been eligible for the Hall of Fame for, like, three or four years now. I think they should consider putting him in, you know. But, you know, only time will tell. I mean, it's like this. Troy Aikman, and I love bringing up Troy Aikman. Um, if you look at Troy Aikman's numbers, they do not say Hall of Famer. But he happened to win, you know, three Super Bowls. Because Troy Aikman was very pedestrian as a quarterback <laughs> like I said he only had one season where he threw for more than 20 touchdowns but you know I, I love having that argument you know but I'm just looking at uh, Derek Carr I think he's been there long enough to where you can really come up with the evaluation that um He's just, he's only going to get the Raiders so far. And I mean, they barely got into the playoffs. And you see what happened. Uh, they were knocked out by Cincinnati. Which Cincinnati has a good chance of winning the Super Bowl in a couple of weeks, which I'll talk about that later. But yeah, Josh McDaniels, you just don't know what to expect from him because he does have a reputation of being a snake and he was hit and miss with his players some players liked him some players couldn't stand him 
That's why it's taken him a, a, a while to get another head coaching job. And this is this is so Raiders like to bring somebody like him in. You know, I really think back in the day, the Raiders should have hired Sean Payton. I think Sean Payton. I know he won one Super Bowl, but I think he could have did for the for the Raiders what he did for the Saints, where he got that one Super Bowl in. You know, he had the luxury of playing with you know Drew Brees, uh, statistically one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. You know, we all know Drew, Drew Brees is is definitely going going to Canton. But in case you guys don't remember, uh, he interviewed for that job with the Raiders. He interviewed for that job with the Raiders. And for some reason, Al Davis got mad at him because Al Davis was supposed to hire Sean Payton. And I guess he told Sean Payton to just keep it quiet. I guess he wanted to have some, some gigantic announcement naming Sean Payton as the new head coach. Sean Payton didn't end up getting the job because, you know, they felt he talked too much, which that was real petty of Al Davis. You know, that was real petty. Weak. But look, and look what happened since then. <laughs> look what happened since then. But, you know, nevertheless, you know, I just wanted to uh, put that out there. Um,. I don't know about Josh McDaniels as the Raiders head coach, but like I said, this is very Raider of them. This is textbook, you know what I'm saying? Textbook Mark Davis. I don't know why. Josh McDaniel out of all the other possibilities. So that's my take on the whole thing. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.